know, like we are desensitized. Hi guys, how are you doing today? Yes, thank you for clicking on my channel and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Okay, so guys, today I'm going to be um, reacting to uh, DZ Joker Palestine. So this was heavily requested by you guys. It was just released yesterday and I've been getting it on my Facebook, my Snapchat, my Instagram and my comment sections that you guys want me to check this out. I know roughly what it will be touching on, um, the decision with Palestine from Trump, it, so it probably is quite a serious um, thing that DZ Joker is, is, trying to, is trying to draw here. Okay, so let's check this out, let's see what's in. I just got myself a tea as well. Um, let's go. This looks like it's going to be really serious. Sorry, Palestine. We're not coming. We're just lying. Laying in our bed. As long as we don't live in you, nothing's bad. Sorry, Philistine, for not helping you. So this is this is obviously directed towards Trump. I'm supposing um, how he hasn't lived a day. He hasn't lived a day here, but you know. All we can do is post pictures saying Gaza, we love you. Sorry, we are not free. We live in psychological war too. Dying is better than living the way we do. Sorry. Medias don't see you. It's your fault. You're not LA, New York, or Paris. No, don't stop me. Let me talk. You must listen to the truth even if it hurts. Sorry. You better know that they want us to believe their lie. We cry all the children, but when it comes to yours, our tears dry. Sorry. Even if we see you on the news, we close our eyes. We prefer watching cartoons. We are tired of watching wars. That's that's so true. That's so true. And I myself, even now watching this, I can I can sort of say that, you know, like we are desensitized in the world, um, in the world now, and we kind of we kind of like we we know something's out there. We know something's bad's happening to different countries, but we kind of want to take a blind eye to it um, and pretend as if you know that nothing is wrong and. It's so true. It's so true what he's saying, and the way he's done it is so artistic as well. Like the way he's um, putting it forward, and the blood that he has on his face to represent, you know, the war that's going on, the madness that's going on. And, and at the end of the day, all we can do is just be there and be like, you know what? Um, it's not. It's not. It doesn't interest us, and that's such a bad way to look at things. Only for playing without acting. That's what told us imams, popes, and our boys. We prayed for centuries and nothing changed. It does? Okay, let's keep praying so it does. Sorry, we live in schizophrenic world. We don't care about humans, but we do for dogs. Sorry, you're looking for medicine? Oh we my have God. it. But we that there, that there itself. Yes, that is so, so true. We don't care about humans dying, but we care about, like, oh my God. This is so hard hitting. I'm sorry, I'll keep on stopping this every two seconds. Isn't it drugs? Sorry, there's no more water? We can't hear you. We're listening to the music and shower for hours. Oh my god, you got injured? Sorry, we're busy doing plastic surgeries. There's no more doctors. Sorry, we only act when it happens to us. When it happens to us, we want help from others. But in your case, we forget that we are the others. Sorry, babies. You don't even know why you're dead. Why for us having a baby girl is still shame for her dad. Sorry mothers, your sons are in heaven. They're well, while our children makes their parents' life as hell. Sorry brothers, your feet makes you feel lame. Why do we feel sad losing a football game? Sorry fathers, you lost all your families, you're alone. While we don't visit ours, we just take them by phone. Sorry, get your freedom by your hands. Sorry for not being humans. Sorry for being such losers. We love you. It's a real kind of like 
cry out to people and to say you know from the western world and how we're so naive in a sense um and we're we're so we're so caught up in our own dramas which at times are not even dramas that we don't even want to take a second look at other countries that you know are going through so much so much turmoil so much trouble and because it doesn't happen to us we don't see it and i fully understand that like i i, I get what he's saying with that like i myself kind of like i feel guilty that i don't know more um because i feel like you know i have i have all the information out there to find out this stuff but i kind of stay back from it so i think I think it's it's pretty ignorant to not, you know, be interested in what's going on. I feel like we need to rectify our problems and try to um, mend and try to, you know, um, show more of an interest in finding out what's going on around the world rather than being naive and thinking that, you know, because it's not happening to us, because it's not affecting us, we should just stay out of it. So um, I don't think that anyone should stand with Trump on his decisions um, and what he wants to do. I think that he, I think what has happened and we see this in in the world is that, you know, country, the Western countries, um, the Western, Western part of the world, um, America, the UK, um, they kind of want to put their noses into, into, into pots that don't really, they don't really, like, they don't need to be in. Um, and what I mean by that is that we've seen uh, in history, we've seen that um, people are influenced. Uh, the West, the Western world has influenced decisions or has pushed decisions that does that won't affect them, but will affect other countries, which they don't need. To, they don't need to do that. They don't need. They don't need to put their head in that. Um, if you want to help out, you help out. You don't. You don't. You don't do what you do, and you don't cause destruction and think that you've done something good um i think that Deza joker what he's done with 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 this and that he's spoken english in this um is really powerful because he's put it out there and he's sort of just said you know what i'm here and i'm trying to make a difference and i'm trying to do this by speaking english the the word the the, the language that will impact a lot more people um and the people that it really needs to hit to, to, to back off to, to know that what you're doing is wrong um i hope this gets out then i hope this is spread i think it was very powerful i think the way he the way he did that was you know just everything that like the way he choreographed that with with you know um the actual actual visually as well like the way he he did that was was quite was quite powerful as well i can't say to you that i'm very political as a person i don't really keep up with much of the politics but i think that everyone's sort of knows what's going on right now with the situation and if you don't then it's not it's not a bad thing just to you know read on it and see and see if you can get more information and i think it's just it's great for us to just keep on sharing our word and keep on keep on um trying to make a difference in a good way not a bad way um and i really really do appreciate youtube for that youtube is, is a platform that we can sort of express express ourselves and i understand it doesn't it doesn't always get what it needs to get but um you know from from what i've seen dz joker and um anestina have both done something that's gone viral and has actually hit the media the you know and they've actually been able to speak about it which is which is which is great like which is great which is something they're using their word their spoken word um to get out to, to get a message out there and we need to spread the message and we need to spread you know what we think and we should never be silenced it's my this is my opinion on it um thank you guys if if you've enjoyed it um and let's get the word out there Save Palestine.